Okay, children. All of you lower your hands, children. Lower your hands. Okay. Today we will start GK chapter number forty-two, India at Olympics. Okay. So the Olympic Games are one of the most prestigious games in the world. Olympic Games are the one of the most prestigious games in the world. Okay. So, however, India has not done much in these games. India first participated at the Olympic Games in nineteen hundred. So when do the India uh, first participated at Olympic Games in nineteen hundred? So recently India has competed. Recently India has competed at the two thousand sixteen Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, from five to twenty first August two thousand sixteen. Okay, so recently India has competed at the two thousand sixteen Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, de Janeiro Brazil, from five to twenty first August two thousand and sixteen. Now here, what you have to do, you have to identify the following sports persons of India who have won medals at the Olympics. So number one, you can see who is number one. Yes, number one is P. V. Sindhu. Okay, all of you write in your book. Number two is Sakshi Malik. She is. She is uh in the field of wrestling. Okay. Now number three is gymnastic. She is famous sports person of gymnastic. Her name is Deepa Karmakar. Number four. This is the one of the most famous shooting star. His name is Gagan Narang. He is one of the famous wrestling sports person. His name is Sushil Kumar. Okay, Sushil Kumar. Now this sports person is famous boxing champion. His name is Vijendra Singh. Okay, so I will review once again. Number one, pick first picture is of P. V. Sindhu, famous badminton player. Number second, the famous wrestling player Sakshi Malik. Number third, the famous gymnastic player Deepa Karmakar. Number four, the famous shooting star Gagan Narang. Number five, the famous wrestling sports person Sushil Kumar. The famous boxing champion Vijendra Singh. Okay, so all of you have done. I hope. Now see, did you know who Sarla Venkata? Sindhu became the first Indian woman to quality for an Olympics final and win the silver medal. Just mark it, everyone. Okay, everyone, mark it. Did you know? One of the important question. Okay, did you know? Now see chapter number forty-three. All of you, our universe. What is this? Our universe. Number. So we will discuss here about our universe. All of you, lower your hand, children. Everyone, lower your hand. Okay. We will learn about our universe. Now, see number one here. What is this? Look up in the sky, and you can see many different things at different time. Name these things. Okay. so when you look up at the sky you can see many different things and what you have to do here you have to name the different things which you see at different different times so what is this it is the brightest thing in the sky and you can see it during the day time so this one is it is the brightest thing in the sky and you can see it during the day time this is the sun the sun we can see during the day time Number two, they are white twinkling dots which you can see at night. They are the stars. Okay. Number three, it appears to change shape. We can see it at night. What uh, changes the shape? The moon changes its shape. Okay. Number four, it contains seven colors and you can see it sometimes after the rain. It is called rainbow. Rainbow has seven colors. Okay, and it and we can see it sometimes after the rain. Number five, it can be black 
or white and it brings rain maybe it can be black or it can be white and it brings us rain so we call it cloud number 6 we live on this planet this goes round the sun the moon goes round this name this planet so we live on this planet so as we live on this planet and this goes round the sun okay and the moon goes round this so we call it the earth finished all of you have you all finished ashani ashna rashi yes ma'am i am done na all of you finished very good ma'am all of us are completed ma'am yes number ta acha the what teacher question one thing is five point of the question acha the number of six number question name question number six yes yes question no Question number six is not there, but uh, the B is there, no? Down, down. At the last one, see the last one, B. B is number six. Okay, actually it is B, but there it is mentioned as six. Okay, we live on this planet. This. Yes. See, we live on. Number six. Answer key. Number six, it can it can be black or white, and it bring rains. It is cloud. Okay. Number six, the Earth. We live on this planet. So which planet we do live? We live on the Earth. So this goes around the sun. The moon goes around around this. Name this planet. Okay. Thank you. This will be the Earth. See, I will write for you. The first one will be sun. Okay. It is the bright brightest thing in the sky, and you can see it during the daytime. Sun. Number two. they are white twinkling dots which you can see at night that is the stars okay now number 3 it appears to change shape we can see it at night it will be moon number 4 it contains seven colors and you can see it sometimes after the rain we call it rainbow okay Number five, it can be black or white, and it brings rain. We can clearly see it is a cloud. Now number B, we live on this planet. This goes round the sun. The moon goes round this. Name this planet. We call it the Earth. Okay, Earth. Finished. All of you finished. <coughs> <coughs> yes, Irene, have you finished? Musina. Yes, ma'am. I have finished. Yes, ma'am. Ashani, have you finished? Yes. Where is Musina? Aruhi, have you finished? Aruhi. Yes, ma'am. Arvika, Banna, Bhaya, Ifra, very good. Yes, ma'am. Rajni, very good children. Swastik, Somi. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, children. Now we will learn about chapter number forty-four. That is blue earth. What is blue earth? We will discuss about the blue earth. Okay. So our earth is very beautiful. So where do we live? In on which planet we reside? We reside on the beautiful earth. Okay. So our earth is very beautiful. It has many landforms as lakes, forests. deserts islands rivers fields etc so here are given some of them for you name them using utility box so here you can see so many things are there so the first one you can see here what will be the first one the first one the first picture is you can see it is a forest f o r e s t forest okay the second one is a desert see the sands you can see it is called a desert mainly you can see in rajasthan and in the gulf areas you can see the desert so d e s e r t it is called desert now see the third one what is this this is a valley okay valley v a w -L, l e y valley now this one what is this this is a river r i v e r river okay nadi river ko hindi mein nadi bhi kehte hain okay 
Now, what is this one? This one is island. You can see the island. Here you can see the island. I S L A N D. Island. Okay, so the first one is forest. The second one is desert. Third one is valley. Fourth one is river, and the fifth one is island. Okay, so these are the see, some of the forms of lakes, forests, deserts, islands, rivers, and fields. So we have discussed this about the blue earth. Now see the B one about three fourth of the earth is covered with water in the form of oceans, lakes. Seas, rivers, etc. So water has three forms: solid, liquid, and gas. So label the three water forms. So what are the three water forms here? The first form is what is this? A glass of water. So this is what form? This is the liquid form. This is the liquid form. Okay. Now the second one you can see the steam is coming out. So this is the form of gas. Now see this one. It is the ice cubes over here. So, what is the form? Water form. It is the form of solid. Okay, solid form. I will review once again. The first one is the liquid form. The second one is the gas form. The third one is the solid form. Okay, so the three forms of water are there: solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. Yes, Ashna. Very good. Finished. Ifra, have you finished? Very good, children. So all of you will learn these three chapters very nicely okay